Hey, what's up? It's Tuesday morning now. I just submitted my electromagnetic compatibility practical report. It looks like this. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It's uh, due tomorrow, so I can now can forget about it and focus on this bitch. Um, this right here is my computer engineering uh, architecture practice due tomorrow. It's not working so far. Um, and a lot of my group members are kind of busy today, so I'm trying to figure out a lot of the stuff for myself. Uh, I'm not doing so well. The fetch, my uh, group members has got the fetch instruction working, but now I'm trying to get the load, store, add, subtract, and branch instructions working um, in Verilog though, and I don't have that much experience with Verilog, and I, ugh, it's just kind of unintuitive coding because it doesn't run in sequence. Some of it runs um, constantly all the time because it's logic operations like logic gates, and some of it runs in sequence. I'm just struggling to understand that right now. <sighs> and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a long day in front of the computer. So let me get back to it. I gotta remember to stop looking at the screen and look at you instead. Hey, what's up? It's um seven minutes to twelve. I am uh, feeling really tired and frustrated. My computer engineering architecture practical is not working, and it's due at uh, ten thirty tomorrow morning, ten forty-five. Um, so I'm going to get up early tomorrow morning at like five to carry on working on it because I just, I'm not productive anymore and I haven't solved any new problems in the last hour, two hours really. I'm a bit stressed for it, but it's the last prac of the semester, last big prac that I have to get done. I mean, I still have like a couple of assignments and class tests, but this is the last like big prac I've got to do. So yeah, I'm going to go to bed and hopefully solve this problem in the morning. Just can't get my VHDL simulation to give the output that I need it to. Life of an engineering student, eh? But anyway, good night. Right, we just had our demo for computer engineering architecture, pack three. Uh, we didn't meet the sub-minimum requirements, so we actually kind of fail. Um, we have to re-demo in like a week's time, which is fine. Um, means that we get like actually like an extra week to work on it. They cap our mark for the demo at 50 though, um, which is fine um, because the, the demo itself as a whole of the, as a whole part of the practical only counts like 35% or something. So we'll do well in that, we'll do well in the report and our overall prac mark will actually be able to be affected. So not that stressed about it. I'm just gonna go take a walk now, take a break from the computer and then get back to working on IPI later. So not too bad and I'll talk to you later. Oh, hey, what's up? Because the electricity has just gone out, I'm taking full advantage of it and sitting outside in the blazing sun uh, trying to write my engineering professionalism exam assignment that's due tomorrow with such amazing yeah, <laughs> nuggets of insight such as the, um, <clears throat> the complex nature of the candidate's work will include and fulfill various extra professional competencies, particularly in Group D of the competencies, focused on exercising judgment, taking responsibility, and acting ethically. And then I got on to provide evidence for how I will display my ethics and <laughs> the, uh, how, how I fulfill different extra requirements and that so that I can get my Engineering Council of South Africa um, professional engineer competency kind of accreditation. That's what this whole project is about. Um, it's a lot of nonsense writing, can't lie, but it's nice, I'm in the sun, hopefully my laptop doesn't overheat in the next couple of minutes. I'm gonna get back to it. I'm busy writing out um, a whole lot of nonsense, honestly, for this engineering professionalism report. It's going all right. Um, I'm on, I think, two and a half thousand words now, uh, and I'm not, I'm not done. But it's, it's coming together nicely, and I think if they don't mark it too strictly, I'll be fine for it. Basically, just like they really want to see: Do you understand how the professional 
development and accreditation system works in South Africa for engineers, which I do. And so now it's just a matter of showing that through long convoluted sentences about how I will <laughs> adhere to the occupational health and standy health and occupational health and safety standards in an organization I might work in one day and how I will demonstrate that to EXA uh, as well as all of the other uh, graduate uh, outcomes and um, professional what's, what's it professional competen competency outcomes yeah it's as dry as it sounds I don't know how law, law students do it all day anyway it's nice to type some stuff out for a change <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's quarter to 12 on Friday night and I just finished uh, work for the week. Just submitted um, Computer Engineering Architecture Practical 3's report. We actually finished it a bit early, which was great. So yeah, I was just double checking just before bed that I actually submitted it and check I did indeed submit it. It's been an insane week of work. It's prac week. It was prac week, you know. It's always prac week just before the semester ends, where we complete all the end, all the practic, all the last practicals for all the modules, and I'm exhausted. And I know my friends are too, and I'm about to go jump in that bed now. Good night. Good morning. It's Saturday morning. I am off to the shops with my family just to do some errands and to get out of the house for a bit, which is really nice. I think I'm going to go to the pet shop actually. Price the fish. Flash, price the fish food, price the dechlorinator, because my fishies here are multiplying like mad and they need to be fed like once every two days. So yeah, gonna go out, do uh, some normal people things that doesn't involve sitting in front of a computer and working. So that's exciting for a change and let's go. I think we're also gonna play tennis later. Hey, what's up? So I'm back home now. I actually didn't end up filming anything in the pet shop, but I uh, got some really cool genetically modified Danios. So they're supposed to glow in the dark and then just got some more neon Tetris. This is my sister's room actually because they're going in the tanks that are in her room. But uh, yeah, uh, I just put some food in there right now so they're busy chowing it. Uh, so they're going in this nice, uh, I think it's a hexagon tank uh, that's ready for some fish for the first time. And here, these neon Tetras in this bad boy are going to go into this tank here, which has some neon Tetras in it already so that they hopefully all start breeding together because fish are expensive man and it's about time that they start breeding with each other so yeah i just got the, the water dripping in here um acclimatizing so hopefully they'll be ready to go in in about an hour yeah such a great hobby <laughs> So thanks to our new lockdown level today, we've had to resort to the home workouts. It's fine, you know, I hope all the people with COVID and all the hospital workers and that get better and we get over this wave at the moment. But for now, it's back to ridiculous exercises on the grass with the dogs, with the sun in the background, which is not too bad. And so, got to enjoy it, hey KG? You think it's a good thing, hey, that all the people are home? It's so nice for the people to be home. So yeah, watch me do this ridiculous exercise now. 